guys and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this makeup look. It's an everyday bronzy eye look with a nude lip and most of the colours are from this palette which is the Chi Chi Bronzes palette. This is my favourite palette to, you, to, to use. It's got like every colour you can need. Except for some browns. It's got like a nice burgundy colour, it's got bronzy coppery shades, some dark shades up here, it's got a brow highlight, and it's got some out there shades, which I've never actually used. So if you want me to do a tutorial on that, that on like eyeshadows I haven't used from Chi Chi, then I will. I um, hope you guys enjoy this video and I tried to make this look as easy as possible. I hope you guys enjoy it and find this video helpful and if you recreate this look then just hashtag me on Instagram at gemiceppi and I will just link that below. And, or you can send me the photo on Facebook, and my Facebook will be linked below as well in the description bar. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any videos. And if you want to see how I got this everyday coppery bronzy look, then just keep watching. Now we're going to start. First, we're going to do primer and we're going to use this NYX pore filler primer. I'm just going to apply it with our fingers. Just get out a little bit and then we just part it where we have big pores. We do this first so it will sink in to our skin before we do foundation. We don't want to apply foundation straight onto an oily base because then foundation will slip and slide everywhere and that won't look pretty. Okay, so now onto eyes. Firstly, we're going to prime our eyes with this MAC paint pot in Soft Ochre. This helps with any visible veining like I have and any redness and it will also help the eyeshadows stay on longer okay now we're going to grab this Makeup Geek shadow in Crempule and we're going to grab our E35 blending brush by Sigma. I'm just going to put this in the crease. And that's our crease colour done. Now we're going to go into this Chi Chi Bronzes palette. It's got a very nice range of colours. Now we're just going to grab this colour and our E55 eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to pat that all over the eye. Right up to the crease. That's that. It's a nice 
bronzy colour. Now with the colour next to that, which is this bronzy coppery colour, and our E70 medium angled shading brush. And we're just gonna put that in a little triangle in our outer corner. Doesn't matter if you get it out here, we'll um, clean that up right before we have it do our foundation. Now we're just going to grab our E25 blending brush and we're just going to blend the darker colour into the lighter colour. But very, very softly. Like all I'm doing is patting it in. Patting and moving it that way. Now we're just going to grab a cotton ball and my makeup remover. This is the Inglot one. Now that that's done, we're just going to grab our EE25 blending brush and the Crambule Makeup Geek Shadow again. And we're just going to put that in the crease just to blend out the bronzy shades that we just put in because you don't want it to have like a harsh line just in windscreen wipe promotions and now we're just going to line our top lashes with the uh, Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner. I'm going to do a very, very thin line, if we can. Now, we're going to do the other eye. Now that the eye line is done, we're going to use the lightest colour in this bronzer's palette, which just so happens to be this colour. I'm going to use that on our brow bone with the E20 short shader brush. And we'll just stick a little bit in the inner corner. And now all we have to do is just curl our eyelashes with this eyelash curler to get them ready for mascara. I always call my eyelashes just because it makes you look more awake. And it's always good to look more awake than you actually are. I do have problems curling my eyelashes because my eyes are very very sensitive so it doesn't work very well sometimes. Now on to foundation. Today I'm going to be using my Vitalumia Aqua foundation by Chanel and my F84 brush, the angled kabuki brush. And we're just going to shake our foundation because it's a very liquidy one and if we don't it will run all over the face. Okay, should be ready. Now I'm just going to pour it onto my hand.
I love this foundation for a natural day if it's going to be hot because it's a thin foundation and won't and it won't move in the heat. Even though it's winter right now, it's actually very, very hot today. Make sure you blend it down into your neck. It's a very light coverage foundation. But it is buildable. That's the foundation done. Now on to concealer. The concealer I am using today is the MAC Pro Longwear in NW15. It's the world's hardest concealer to pump out just a little bit of. Now, we can't just leave the concealer like this because it uh, doesn't look great. We're going to grab a blending brush. And we're going to use the Real Technique setting brush. I'm just going to pat the concealer in. And I think that might have been the perfect amount. Because it has not too much on it. Now we've got to set our under eye and our face. To set my under eyes, I'm going to be using this Australis Ready Set Go translucent powder. And I'm going to use this Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. Now to set the rest of my face. I'm going to use Maybelline Fit Me Prouder, Breast Prouder in 230 Natural Buff. And I'm going to be using this large powder brush and make sure you don't go over the place where you just powdered because then that will, then the whole point of concealing is worthless. Now on to brows. I'm going to grab this BH Cosmetics spoolie. I'm just going to brush that through my eyebrows. So they're the shape I want them. And now I'm going to grab my two Chi Chi eyebrow pencils. One, this one is medium brown and this one is light brown. I'm going to grab the medium brown one first and going to draw the bottom part of my eye. Now that one's done, we're going to grab the light brown and going to draw in the top part. Just draw, just like colour, colour the bottom part as well. Very lightly though. You want them to look natural. Gentle. Now I'm just going to go back to the BH spoolie and brush through our eyebrows again. We need to set our eyebrows in place and to do that we're going to use our Essence Lash and Brow Clear Gel or Clear Mascara. And then that's our eyebrows done. 
now it's time to bronze up our face to give it more definition and to do that I'm going to use this Glow Baby Glow Bronzer by Model Co and I'm going to use this F10 powder blush brush and we're just gonna tap off some extras Now we're going to contour our cheekbones. To do that, I'm going to use my Hula Bronzer by Benefit and the F05 Small Contour Brush from Sigma. And just contour our nose a little bit. Make my lip look a bit more pouty. Now on to blush. For blush today, I'm going to use this MAC blush. It's a in warm salt. It's a mineralized blush. And it's a very natural, everyday blush. It's got a bit of shimmer in it, so you don't need a highlighter, but I love highlighters. So I'm going to put one on anyway. Just blend it out a little bit. Blush is done. I'm trying to look like there's much on, but it's a very natural look. Now on to highlighter. For highlighter, I'm using this MAC Mineralized Skin Finished in Light Scrapade. And I just love this highlighter. It's a very natural, everyday highlighter, and it's got Golds, peaches, some blue tones, some yellow tones. It's just a great everyday highlighter. I'm going to apply it with my Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. We're just going to put it on the tops of our cheekbones. I love this highlight. I use it like every single day since I've got it. Now we're just going to finish my eyes. I'm going to put this Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Eyeliner in my waterline. It helps me be more awake. Okay, that's done. Now on to mascara. Today I'm using my Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. I'm just going to apply a lot to our top lashes. We're going to add another mascara on top of that. The Maybelline The Falsies Volumizing Express Mascara. This is waterproof. So. And as I've just noticed, my eyes are watering. And 
and that's the eye, it's finished. Now I almost finished this look, now we're just going to add some lipstick and the lipstick I'm using today is by MAC and it is Angel by MAC and it, this is a frost And then that is the lipstick. Now, I think I want a bit more pink. So I'm just going to grab this NYX Butter Gloss in Vanilla Cream Pie. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting and helpful and if you want to check out any of the products I mentioned just check the down bar below and I'll see you all in my next video okay thanks guys for watching bye guys